Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. This is the fourth part of this deck series of aggregation category. In the previous video, we have studied some aggregator functions which ends with A. And now in today's class, we will study some iterators DAX functions. So firstly, we will understand what are iterators. So guys, iterators are those functions which scan row by row and perform some calculations. So let's understand this concept with an example. So let's go to the data view. So if I want to multiply this per unit price column with cost column, and after that, I want to add one more column here. And after that, I want to sum of new column. So it will go lengthy guys, right? And it will also increase the size of your model because new columns are always increases the size of our data model. So to avoid these such steps, we have some DAX functions in Power BI, which names are iterators. With the help of iterators, we can perform the calculations of two columns. So it returning scalar value, which means go row by row and perform some calculations. And we can perform these calculations with the help of measure. No need to add any calculated column. So now let's understand this concept with practical. So guys, my requirement is I just want to simply multiply per unit price into cost. So let me go to the report view and go to this practical page. So I will click on this three dots and click on new measure. And I will edit this sum of total sales. And now I will write my measure, which name is sum X. So those functions are end with X. These are known as iterators guys. And start the bracket. So look at the parameter guys. The first parameter is table. So our table name is sales. Comma. And now I will write my expression, which means per unit price. Multiply with cost. And close the bracket. So guys, our measure has created here. And now I will take this table visual here. And let me add some fields from here. So firstly, I will add customer name. Per unit price. Cost. And finally, I will add our new measure, which name is sum of sales. And now I will take one card visual from here. And let me resize it and simply drag and drop this measure here. So here we guys can see that our total sales is 152 million. That means per unit price multiply with cost. So our result is 23224 times 0. And now if I go to the data set. So here we can see guys here no new column has added. So in this way guys we can use our iterator functions in Power BI. So with this example, we have learned that how we can use some X iterator functions to perform such kind of calculations between two columns. And now let's understand the average X. So guys, this time I want to calculate the average of newly added sales column. So let me edit this measure. And simply I will put average X here. And press enter. So we can see guys, it gives you the average of newly added sales column. We don't need to create any other column. And after that, we need to calculate average. So to avoid such kind of calculation, we can use measure here which names are iterators. So let's quickly understand this max X and min X. And let me quickly edit this measure and replace with 
max x and press enter and if i go to the call out value and let me change the call out value from here so that you guys can see the actual value which is 2 3 1 2 4 times 0 so this is the maximum value guys under this column which is 2 3 1 2 4 times 0 and if you want to calculate the minimum value so you guys can also do that with the help of min x function and let me replace this measure with min x and press enter and now let's talk about this count x function so if i replace this measure with the count x guys so let's see what happened so i am replacing this min x with count x and press enter so here we can see guys that its total count is 20 and under table visual it gives you the count of rows let's suppose if i want to see the shubham count so let me go here in data view and if i click here on filter tab so let me unselect all and select only shubham so this record entry is written here in three times so that's why here answer is three so in this way guys we can use count x function now comes to the count ax count x does not work on boolean data type but count ax works on boolean data type so let me quickly create one table here and i will take only boolean data type which is true and false true and false and let's say our table name is boolean 2 and now if i apply measure on boolean table so let's see what happened so i will write here count x and our table name is boolean 2 and our expression is to count the boolean so i will write here column name which is boolean and close the bracket and if i drag and drop this measure here so see guys it is getting me the same error that count x cannot work with values of type boolean so that means here we can apply count ax if i replace this measure with count ax so it will work guys see guys it is working fine here now move towards the last topic of our class which is product x so to understand this product x let me create one more table here quickly so i will go here in enter data and i will enter here value 1 and value 2 and i will write here only 2 4 and 6 and again i will write here 2 4 and 6 and this time our table name is let's say product x and now i will create one dax function here so let me go here in new measure and this time our column name is let's say shubham and now i will write product x and our table name is product x comma and our expression is i want to add value 1 plus value 2 so i will write here value 1 plus value 2 and close the bracket and now i will take one table visual from here and i will add value 1 and value 2 so guys it is giving the sum so i'll go here and click on this don't summarize and if i drag and drop this measure here which name is shubham and i will also drag and drop this measure into this card visual so here we guys can see our result is 384 that means 
2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 6 plus 6 is 12. But here answer is 384. So guys, we have used product formula here, not sum formula. So it is calculating like 4 multiply by 8, 8 multiply by 12. So if I 4 multiply with 8, so our answer is 32. And if I 32 multiply with 12, so our answer is 384. So if I replace this function with sum x, So see guys, our result is 24. So I hope guys you have enjoyed this video. And if you like the content, please hit the like button. And those who are new to this channel, kindly hit the like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to press bell icon, else you will miss an update. And you guys can also share this channel with those who really want to learn Power BI from scratch. And here is the YouTube channel guys, where you guys can easily learn Power BI from scratch. So here are the 50 tutorials guys where I have explained each and every concept in detail. So stay connect with us for more learning about Power BI. And guys we also provide paid training sessions and if someone is interested for paid you guys can directly connect me on LinkedIn. Link is given under the description box. You guys can connect me there. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.